Pentecost, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. The Pentecost is considered as the birthday of the Church by the Catholics. It occurred 50 days after the death and resurrection of Jesus and 10 days after His ascension into heaven. Because Easter is a movable feast without a fixed day, the Feast of the Pentecost depends on the timing of Easter. In the Christian tradition, Pentecost is the celebration of the person of the Holy Spirit upon the Apostles, Mary, the first followers of Jesus. The Catholic believers pray the Novena, nine days of prayer, based in Acts 1, which states that Mary and the Apostles prayed together continuously for nine days after the Ascension leading up to Pentecost. When the time of the Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all together in the upper room or cenacle. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues of fire, which parted and came to rest each one of them. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. It was a strange phenomenon that some people thought that the Christians were just drunk, but Peter pointed out that it was only the morning and that the phenomenon was caused by the Holy Spirit. The Pentecost is also a Jewish holiday, which the Jews also celebrate at the end of the Passover. The word Pentecost is from the Greek word Pentecost, meaning 50th. The Jews call the celebration Shavuot. Jews celebrate the gift of the Law of Moses at Mount Sinai on this day, but for Catholics, it is the birth of the Church. During Pentecost, priests wear red vestment, symbolic of burning fire of God's love and tongues of fire that descended on the Apostles. The Catechism teaches that God is love, and love is His first gift, containing all others. God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Because we are dead or at least wounded through sin, the first effect of the gift of love is the forgiveness of our sins. The communion of the Holy Spirit in the Church restores to the baptized the divine likeness lost through sin. The mission of Christ and the Holy Spirit is brought to completion in the Church, which is the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit. This joint mission henceforth brings Christ faithful to share in His communion with the Father in the Holy Spirit. <laughs>